when we talked to Coach Alford, he talked about how the season would have actually started on time the way it would have normally started, that maybe you would have needed a little bit more time just to get fully healthy. Um, so my question is, how did you feel after the Nebraska game? And then how did you feel going into the Penn State game? And, you know, afterward, how are you feeling physically? I'm feeling good, you know, uh, no worries. Um, yeah, there, there may have been some complications before, you know, the season, but I think, you know, the last two games, I've been feeling good. No worry, you know, I've been doing full practicing and just, you know, uh, preparing each game and really no worries, you know, no uh, struggles, you know, no concerns right now. Thanks. And we're going to go next to Bill Rabinowitz from the Columbus Dispatch. Bill. Master, how would you assess the way you've played so far? Uh, You know, just improving every week. You know, the first week was a little bit of a struggle, I think, you know, um, I don't know if it's because of the long time we've had, you know, the break and just different circumstances, but, you know, uh, I feel like I did a lot better uh, second game around. Still got a lot of things I want to improve on. And I think I will each and every week and continue to, to grow. So, you know, like the first week I said, like I said, uh, I didn't really, uh, I wasn't too fond of my performance then, but, you know, I'm more proud uh, of what I did this past week. Um, but still, you know, hungry to do even more. Thank you. All right, next up, uh, we will go to Austin Ward from Letterman Row. Austin. Master, you are just um, running over some dudes at the goal line for these first two weeks. What is your mindset in those situations when you're, you know, attacking the hole and, and trying to get in that end zone? Uh, really, I just see the I just see the goal line. I mean, it's right there. It's hard to not to get in there, you know, it's right there, like, ah, you know, I'm about to get in there, you know, it's, it's an inch away or whatever. Um, so I kind of just forced my way in there. I don't know exactly, uh, you know, a real a serious thought process behind it, but just, you know, it's, it's so close that it's just, I can't do nothing but get in, so. <laughs> All right, we'll go next to Tony Gerdeman, Buckeye Scoop, Tony. Master, back in 2018, J.K., would, he had issues in terms of wanting to hit a home run every time while he was splitting carries with Mike Weber, and, and he felt that played into a, maybe not his best season. How do you battle that with uh, splitting carries with Trey to, to make sure you're not trying to do too much with uh, your series? Uh, you know, I think, you know, whatever the situation is, you know, I'm going to find a way to uh, perform, you know, I believe that, you know, my preparation each week and, and you know, just, just really trusting, trusting the Lord that, that he's going to help me through whatever, you know, the situation is, it's best for the team to, to perform in a way that that's going to help the team to win. So, I'll, I'll, you know, that's what I want to do. Um, and, you know, whatever that looks like, you know, I'm willing to do it. And so, uh, but like I said, you know, it, it is hard to, to kind of sometimes, you know, get in the groove um, with that, but I think I'll fare well, and um, you know, I'm not sure how things will be, you know, moving forward in the season later on. You know, it might be some shifts or changes as far as that concern. Is that concern? But you know, um, I'm I still feel confident that I'll be able to perform the way I need to. Thank you. All right, next we will go to Joe Dempsey from Buckeye Sports Bulletin. Joe. Hey, Master, um, you came in with uh, Tommy Togia in the same class, and he really had a breakout game this week. Uh, just how have you seen him develop uh, over your three years together? Oh, man, you know, this dude, you know, <laughs> the strongest, one of the strongest, probably the strongest person I've ever seen, you know. And, uh, you know, ever since freshman year, I knew he was special. You know, he's real special, just his work ethic. And, you know, he doesn't say much, but, but you know, he grinds out and he works hard. and. It's not, it's not a surprise to see that happen, you know, because you see it you know, in how he works and practice and, and just everything he does. So um, I'm very happy, excited for him. Thank you. All right, I got time for two more. Uh, we'll go first with Tim May and then with Brendan Gulek. So, Tim, you're up. Thank you very much, Mike. Hey, uh, Master, how much clearer were things to see on Saturday night over at Penn State from the standpoint of the offensive line play? What, how did – what did you see from an improvement from the group in front of you, if you follow my drift? 
uh, you know, I think, like I said, each week to week, I think we're getting better. So um, first week was kind of uh, a little rusty uh, on everybody's part. Even though we had a great win, I think we all could have played better. And like I said, I think we improved um, this week, this, this past weekend. And uh, I think it was a lot better. Uh, you know, my vision was a lot better. Holes were a little, little you know, bigger for me. So. I just, you know, thank you to the to the old to my old line and everything they've done to put in the work and you know, as they continue to get better, I, I plan to continue to, to grow and get better and you know, make sure I'm reading my keys right and hitting the right holes and bursting through. So uh like I said, I thought we did a lot better um, this this past weekend, but plan on the, the team continue to improve. Thanks, man. All righty, <clears throat> last question for today goes to Brendan Gulick. Brendan. Master, I realize you're not the only one that's gone through it, but you're the most recent one to have gone through it with the uh, Achilles injury. Have you talked with Cam Brown? Uh, and and if so, you know how's he doing? And and what were you know what were some of the things maybe you were able to kind of tell him about what you went through? Um, uh, I hadn't said too much to him, but you know, the brief moments that we had, you know, I just I didn't really know what had happened, so uh, I got clarity on that. And um, but through the process, you know, I'm gonna be be keeping up with him and you know uh, I just told him you know we, we're not really sure how, why some things happen in life but uh, it's a definitely a, a time you can grow a time that he can um, really reflect and, and grow just as a person you know um, you know we never want to go through some of the things that we go through but it's all you know going to work out for the good if we allow if we look at it in that way uh, so Definitely is going to be a challenge, but I think, you know, he's a tough kid, he, you know, uh, he, he works hard and I think he's going to be determined to, to do all he can to, to get healthy. And we got some great guys here uh, to help me, you know, Stu, you know, helps us, everybody that's injured and, or, you know, got dings and bruises here and there to get right. So I think he's going to be in good hands. All right, Master, thank you very much. Appreciate